Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by today. Glad to have you back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about flirting and some people aren't great at knowing if somebody is truly flirting with them or not and I have some things you might want to be on the lookout for to make sure that you're reading these signals correctly and not putting yourself out there if this person isn't interested. There are some telltale signs and that's what we're going to talk about today. I've got at least five of them. That's what's coming up. Hope you'll stick around. I'm going to gear this one towards my gals, but I do have a couple at the end that are more applicable for women flirting with men. And some of these obviously go either way. So the first one would have to do with different types of body language you may be picking up on. And if you're looking for a couple of these, they would be a good indication that somebody is flirting with you. And one would be that smile especially from a distance across a room if somebody is smiling at you and or holding your gaze a little bit longer than would feel natural in most circumstances you can pretty much be assured this person does want to talk to you and is giving you that signal from that smile and that gaze now once you're close enough to actually be in conversation with this person if they seem to be leaning in and leaving their body open to you as opposed to closing it off or turning away that's a good sign also from the body language that this person is interested and engaged so somebody leaning in and then if they take that one step further and try to make sure that they are touching you more so than might feel natural for you know if you're saying something that's mildly amusing and they laugh and then touch your arm what women do that all the time men also will reach out and touch you or put their arm on yours and obviously if anything feels a little too much you can back off and change your body language to let them know but if it's just casual flirting and you're interested and they're putting their hand over yours or touching your arm you can pretty much be guaranteed that this person is interested the voice is another way that you can look to see whether somebody is flirting with you. If they lower their voice a little bit softer so that you have to lean in more to hear them and make sure you're picking up on the nuances of the conversation, especially if you're in a loud place and they're not screaming at you, but instead lowering their voice, that's also a sign that somebody wants you to move closer and they're probably flirting with you. I know that sometimes people will also change the register. Get a hair here. Some people will also change the register of their voice when they're talking. Women tend to go either bringing their voice up higher than it usually is so they can talk to you in a more feminine tone or they try to go for the sexy and they'll bring their voice down a little bit lower. So if you're noticing a change in the register of a woman's voice, she's flirting with you and men will typically make that voice a little bit lower and try to move in a, close, you know, a little softer, a little deeper. That's indicative of somebody flirting with you. Now the next one I really like, and that is that if somebody is truly paying attention, they remember what you said earlier in the conversation or on the last date even, or when you were texting on the app or during your FaceTime call before the date. So if someone brings up to you something you said and they remembered it, that they could either tease you about it or bring it back up and remind you, Somebody paying attention is interested. They don't just remember things you said if they don't intend on getting to know you better and seeing you more. Now in the communication category, we've got a couple things and I may have to consult my notes here so I don't forget anything. But one of them would be more laughing than usual, laughing at your jokes. We mentioned that a little bit earlier with body language because sometimes they'll touch you when they're doing that. But if people are laughing a lot and their smile is very broad and they seem to be very pleased to be hanging out, that's flirting. Also, some people get nervous and they might get a little flustered or make mistakes or knock over a drink or, you know, step on your toe or something and get flustered about that. Most people would normally in regular circumstances, if they weren't interested, just say, oh, I'm so I'm sorry. But somebody who is a little bit more flustered than usual in that situation, it's probably because they're flirting with you. Now, I want to mention that when somebody makes a mistake like that, being human and making errors is very attractive to people. 
there's something studies have been done that some people even do it on purpose but that self-deprecating part of their humor or you know i'm just i've got two left feet and to show that you're not perfect but capable of making mistakes and owning them is very sexy to people so whether you want to put that in your arsenal of things to remember if you're trying to flirt and instead of just apologizing or ignoring that something happened own up to it super cool people like that and now the other part of the communication thing would be guys bragging when a guy is kind of laying it on thick some of his accomplishments or talking a lot about parts of his job that shows how important or successful he is or something he has or bragging about his sense of romance bragging is a way that men will flirt with women the other side of that is compliments so not only complimenting themselves but also if a man is giving you compliments your shirt looks really pretty or you know you've got such beautiful eyes or your hair looks so shiny any of those types of things those are flirting words so bragging and compliments go under the communication category of flirting for sure next up we talked about smiling across the room to get somebody's attention and make them want to come over to talk to you but if someone just doesn't seem to be able to hide that smile while they're talking to you they're just truly engaged and enjoying themselves so you can take that smile to have meaning the other thing in a smile to watch out for is not just that it's part of a look that some people get where they're just like i can't believe this is happening that kind of just like a plastered grin where they're just trying to maintain it even when it doesn't even belong there so that type of a smile is something else to look out for and also women and men will also do that kind of like sly grin i don't think i can demonstrate that for you you try you try it in front of the mirror but that sly grin that smirk is also a way that people will look at you in order to let you know that they are flirting with you and then to finish this up i wanted to give off a couple tips for guys in particular and to make you gals aware of things that you do when you're flirting and that would be women tend to Women tend to play with their hair more. They become more aware of their hair. They're pushing their, putting their fingers through their hair. Or, you know, you see the stereotypical women twirling their hair. I'm not a hair twirler. In fact, I barely brush my hair. But, <laughs> but I would say that if you see somebody fussing with their hair or even a guy running his fingers through his hair while he's talking to you, that's probably not on purpose, but it is a subconscious sign of flirting. Women have a tendency to lower their face and like look out the top of their eyes when they're flirting with you. They will also do something weird, but I don't know if we'd pick up on this, but I've read about it where women's eyes will become a little more half-masked as it were. But I think I've seen more often that women will just lower their heads and like look up at you and they'll be talking with their face down a little bit, looking away, coming back, and they become aware of that. I think the half-masked eye thing is more subconscious where i think the looking up with their face down is something that they're doing on purpose women's laugh can also get a little more giggly when she's flirting with a man it's not her typical hearty laugh it becomes something either a little bit more sly <laughs> or a little more higher and a little gigglier because they just kind of lose control and they slip into that higher register that girlish register also if she's very very in tune to what you're saying and is asking for more details not only a great conversationalist but also a sign that somebody's truly interested in learning more about you. So that's a sign of flirting also. And finally, there's an extra amount of animation. There's that energy that's kind of pulsing through your body when you're flirting and excited to be with somebody and getting to know them. And very often that will manifest itself. There is that like bigger energy. Things get bigger and these stories just become more important. And there's just a larger amount of energy put into communication when somebody is flirting with you. Do you have ways that you think or have noticed that people flirt with you or something that works for you? That would be great if you'd share that with us in the comment section. I hope you found these interesting and for sure I hope you found them helpful. If you did give the episode a thumbs up, 
I appreciate you stopping by today. I'll look forward to seeing what you have to say about the subject down below. And hit the subscribe button while you're there, maybe even the ring bell, then you're notified every time I upload a new episode. Thank you again, and until next time, have a good one.